Ah. <laughs> Let's see. Are we live? Good evening, Nicola. How are you? Mrs. Travelon's on. I was told that I need to wait a little bit before speaking because <clears throat> there's always a little bit of a delay on YouTube. Good evening, good evening, Mrs. Travelon's on. Mrs. Travelon, can you... <coughs> Both of me choking to death, can you hear me? <coughs> evening, Emily. Oh, I've got to get that posh water down me early, early doors, haven't I? What's up with the weather? Well, the weather was lovely yesterday when I arrived from uh, Tenerife. Uh, if you've seen the video of me on TikTok coming off the plane doing the weather, it was glorious. But last night it rained. Um, I could hear the rain this morning at about five o'clock in the morning. It woke me up and then it just went from there. So we've got 58 on. Let's see who we've got. And I, I saw some um, comments while you were all waiting. Someone said, did you manage to visit Cyan Park? Scott... I did, and I've just put a video up on TikTok, and I reckon it's going to be the most viral video that I've done. Go over to TikTok and check it out. Um, Jack had the GoPro camera, and I tell you what, you might just laugh. <clears throat> Hopefully, that'll be a viral one. I'm fingers crossed for that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Louise, awesome. I'm thinking of going to Tenerife, but unsure of areas. I would just stick to anywhere away from the Veronica's area. But then again, the top end of Veronica's where Monkey Beach is, and that is beautiful. And a decky and all that is gorgeous. It's only that one area in Tenerife that's a little bit a little bit dodgy. But like I say, all the time to everyone that's, you know, s slates places like that, it's the party place. So, of course, that's where it's going to kick off, isn't it? Uh, good evening, Nicola. Mrs. Travelon's on. Hello, Neil. How are you, mate? Nicola's on. Big AD. Hi, Dave. Nice to see you back home. I, uh, is it nice to be back home, AD? I don't know. I, I, I quite enjoyed Tenerife. We'll tell you all about it in a minute. Let's just say hello to everybody. Hi from the windy, rainy UK. Rocky Earth guy. Hello. Uh, hello from Costa de Guise. Louise is in Costa de Guise. Sorry about the weather. Um, but to be honest, it's not too bad. It's a little bit cloudy today. And it, I don't know... <clears throat> Even in Tenerife, um, over the last few days, it was like cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. I must admit, in Tenerife, very little wind, um, a little bit different to Lanzarote. And um, although we did have one night of wind where I did a live on TikTok with uh, with Andrew, the night strider, and that was a windy, windy time. But that's the only wind I saw. Uh, good evening from Spudman Town in Tamworth. Good evening, Rob. How are you? I believe Neil went to see the Spudman again. Mrs. Travelon told me. Um... Are you talking about my video on TikTok already? Who got banned? Who got banned? What did you do? Were you banned? No. Uh, have a look on TikTok. It's just a very funny video. I stuck the GoPro on Jack's head and we went down the dragon. And it's come out really well. And I did some clever um, video editing and paused my facial expressions. It's very good. Uh, thanks for the Tenerife videos. Reminded, of us, uh, reminded us why we prefer Lanzarote. Um, Tenerife is just too loud for us. Do you know what? I'm going to have to agree with you. Although, I must admit, I do love Tenerife. There was so much to do, but I have to agree with you. It's nice to be back. I went down to my boxing class this morning. You know, there was no airs and graces. It was not a posh place. Whereas Tenerife, everything seems to be glam. Well... Everything seems to be glam, but then you've really got some horrible places in them in between there. So it's it's like I said to I said to Andrew when we did the live, I said Tenerife is like they've basically got every person from society and just ram them in the same place and like just really sort of put everything together. But this area is right next to this area, and this area is really dodge, and this this area is a party area, this area is a super posh area, this area is a family. This is it's just everything's just sort of in one place, but not if that makes sense. It's very strange. Uh was in Lanzarote last week. Sorry about the weather, Fiona. Um it's been better today. It's been a little bit better today. Um, hi, Mrs. Travelon. Peace and quiet. Shattered now he's back. Uh, Mrs. Travelon joined me. Um, so Mrs. Travelon and the kids joined me in Tenerife. So I've started posting those videos. I didn't say... I didn't post any videos while we were there. Um, literally, because I don't... I live on a very small island. And I don't really want 
people knowing that the whole family's off the island. Um, I mean, you know, the house is alarmed and everything and someone was checking and feeding the fish and all that sort of stuff. But I'd rather not sort of broadcast the fact that we're away. You know what I mean? You've got to be careful these days, haven't you? So Missy's travel on and the kids did about three days, three or four days with me just towards the end. So you'll start seeing those videos come in now. Um, but we did Laurel Park, Cyan Park. Um, I'll, I'll tell you all the videos that are coming coming your way. You can't. You, you, you'll, you'll be looking forward to them. Uh, thank goodness you're back. Thanks, Anne. Uh, Lanzarote is for us too. Yeah, can't beat Lanzarote. If you think Tenerife's bad, try Benidorm. I want to go Benidorm, Jack. If I can get a flight over to Benidorm, some cheap accommodation. I just want to go over there for a couple of days to do some videos. I think they'll do good. Um, exciting day for me today. Book for July and December. Back to the Natura Palace. There you go, Claire. You can't beat a bit of Natura Palace, can you? Um, evening, Dave. Hello, Karen. How are you? You've got me on live. Exactly. Uh, four weeks until our return to sunny Lanzarote. Fantastic, Luke. Uh, did Mrs. Travel on get a cocktail at Buddy's? No, she didn't because I'd already been to see their uh, Buddy's and um, we were just so busy. The minute she got here, I had everything planned. So what did we do? Let me let me tell, take you through what we did and what videos you've got coming your way. This is my list of videos I have to edit. Can you believe it? Those are all TikToks that I need to edit. Those are all actual full-on videos that I need to edit. And editing a full-on video takes hours. So... I have got a lot of work to do, but um, let me briefly tell you what videos you got on your way on the way. So you got Laro Park. We went to Laro Park. That was fun. We had a fantastic day at Laro Park. Really, really enjoyed Laro Park. I love it. I love that place. And um, so we drove up to the north. We booked a meal um, at a place called Brunelli, which is like the Laro Park restaurant. It's meant to be in the top ten restaurants in the Canary Islands. I tell you what, it was rubbish. Um, it was just, it was just no good. I mean, I w I'll, I'll do the video and show you, um, and I will mention in there that I didn't think it was worth the money. I mean, it, it worked out about 50 euros a head and 29 for, for Alfie. Alfie got a plate of spaghetti and a chocolate ice cream. Now, this is meant to be the, one of the number one restaurants on the island. We were, we, we went, it's over, over the road from Laro Park. We went over there. Um, there was a queue outside, uh, not too many people, but we were like herded in there like cattle. So we may as well have gone to the ca the canteen and paid thirteen fifty for a meal deal in the canteen. Uh, the woman on the counter was the rudest woman I ever met in my life. She was on the phone the minute we got there. I didn't even acknowledge us, then asked our name, then there was a problem. And then as soon as Mr. Travelon popped the camera out, well, they were all over us then. Uh, food was... It was steak, chips, salad, and a cheesecake. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful, but it wasn't 50 euros uh, per person. And I'll say that in the video. The, the food was nice, don't get me wrong. And the, the restaurant, although it was a crap day and it was raining, is beautiful. So we did Laro Park, we did Siam Park. That was a full-on day. So we literally, we had a full-on days from the minute they arrived. Uh, Laro, Siam... Uh, we ate out twice. Um, we're in two fantastic Indian restaurants. They were really nice. We went to the in Indian, uh, the Tandoori Hut and Mr. Singh's. Did lots of walks along the front. Um, and then we also had, we also got a day pass for the H10 um, Costa Adeki. Um, and we did a day pass there, where, which was all inclusive. Mrs. Travelon, it finished at six. At, at 5.30, Mrs. Travelon ordered a load of takeaway food. That's how cheap she is. Cheaper than me, more tight than me. And she came out with boxes of <laughs> food for our dinner. And we went back to the apartment to eat it. Um, so that was good. So you've got that coming up. I will catch up on your, on your comments in a minute. And let me just double check. Oh, oh and we went on a Tuk Tuk as well. That was a good day. We went out on the Tuk Tuk. Um, but literally from the minute they arrived, we were just bam, 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 bam. So we didn't really have much time to do anything. We didn't even manage to get up tidy. Um, I did a few hotels. I did Best Tenerife. I did Parque Santiago. I did the up at the Volcan. And I did the up at the Bitacara. Um, I'd look at Del Duque Plaza, which was like where all the fashion and you'll wait till you see the video on that. I have a good old rant about how people are spending 6000 on handbags in there. Absolutely ridiculous. €875 Euros for a pair of trainers. Just an absolute joke. So we have a good rant about that. Um, so there's loads coming your way. Let's just catch up on these comments and questions, see if we've got anything. Um, doo -doo -doo, so Karen's on. Yeah, did Mr. Travel on go for a cocktail? No, we got to that one, didn't we? Um, can you recommend a private transfer company? If you go to... 
uh, I think our website or there's a link on my uh, there's a link on all my videos at the bottom that says transfers and it will take you to a page that's got private transfer company that we, we do we recommend them i don't know uh, i've had zero problems with anybody that's booked them they're called kiwi uh, we're like an affiliate of them um because i don't want to get involved with transfers the last thing mr travel wants to do is booking people anything to do with airports in case anything goes wrong and then you know, I'm ba- I'm blamed for the for them not being picked up, but the feedback has been very positive, and nobody's ever had a problem. So we just point everybody to that website, and they seem to be very very reputable. Uh, can you tell me whether or not caravan parks in Lanzarote, Colin? There's loads of like um, caravan. Is it called? I don't know. Mobile homes. They sort of just park down by the beach. There is a campsite in the summer at the Papagayo beaches, but it's quite complicated to get on there. You have to like apply to the town hall. Um, hi from Kevin from Kings Norton. Hello, Kevin from Kings Norton. That's not far from where I was or where I grew up. First time coming to Lanzarote in August with the kids and wife. Fantastic, Steve. You should love it. Um, still waking up to you uh, to, to Dave at breakfast. Lovely, Karen. Uh, Mrs. Travelon said she loves Laro. Get your act together and sort those videos. Can't wait to see them. <laughs> Look how many I've got. <laughs> it's going to kill me. That is, mind you, I've done about six today, so they're all scheduled. Um, Travel on gang, uh, nothing like a plug, blah, blah, blah. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Nelly's on. Good evening, Nelly. Um, do, 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 do. Let's just have a look. Scotsman's on. There you go. Scotsman, there you go. I'll tell you what, I should take a leaf out of Kevin's book, shouldn't I, from Scotsman, and just get these videos up there, because I'll tell you what, he does such a good job, and he must walk miles. Um, I went to some of the places that uh, Kevin's been, I was shattered. I was absolutely shattered. So big hello to Kevin. If you've not already, make sure to follow Kevin Look, um, the Scotsman in Tenerife. If you want to know about Tenerife, I'll tell you what, he has literally walked the length and breadth of Tenerife. Um, If there's a video on Tenerife of an area you're going to, he's been there. Oh, we'll have a good sip of that. Uh... Let's have a little look here. Let's have a look. Uh, Del Duque is amazing. It is Ruth, but bloody hell. I was disgusted. Disgusted in this one shop. And there was somebody in there buying two bags for six grand each. I mean, my question was, who in the world is earning that sort of money? Um, 143 days and six of us coming over. Barcelo, three weeks. We're going to hunt you down for a sticker. No worries, Monday. You hunt me down. Oh, no. Nelly's plane's delayed. Um... Thumbs up for Dave's studio. You love this studio, don't you, Kevin? I think next time, Kev, if you come over to Lanzarote and we do a live, rather than sitting outside that bloody Indian restaurant where it's freezing, um, well, it was freezing, wasn't it? We'll get some pakora because I know you like that, and we'll just sit in here. Got aircon and everything. We can make you comfortable. I've got another chair, usually for Mrs. Travel On, but we can have it for you, Kev. Uh, staying at Player Club Apartments, end of April, uh, celebrating my retirement with the family. Fantastic. If you fancy doing a room review, let me know. Yeah, Dave, get in touch with me. Dave at Travel on, MrTravelOn.com. Um, get in touch with me nearer the time. I will certainly... No, end of April is not too far away. I can certainly do it. I always say get in touch with me a week before just in case... Uh, I head over to somewhere like Tenerife was, wasn't planned. Um, anime travels on. Hello, how are you? Um, we stayed there for my retirement as well. Loved it, fantastic. Um, you're a Longbridge boy. I am indeed, Kevin. I am indeed. Heading to Lanzarote plus Ferry only. It's in July. That's very posh, Michael. You'll enjoy that. So let's have a little look at what's going on in the news. Um, just briefly in um, Lanzarote, because Nicola, one of our moderators, she sent me this today. Now, Canarian Weekly. This is the this is their Canarian Weekly. Let's have a little look here. Canarian Weekly. You've got to be careful what you what you're reading on Canarian Weekly. They are known as sort of not being a hundred percent accurate on their news uh, but they are a good news service for the canary islands so the biggest story that nicola sent me was this about jet 2 now i've spoke about jet 2 quite a few times on my lives every time i do my lives and i see one of these big vans and um, with like three people sat in the front of it um and i wonder how the hell a jet 2 affording this service so this is the f- uh the flight check-in service so this is where 
you basically, the reps will be in reception like this and you bowl down in the morning of your flight, you, you dump your bags with them, they check them in, they put all the stickers on, they dump them in the back of a van and the van drives them to the airport and then when your coach picks you up, you go to the airport, you go straight through to security. I mean, an amazing service. What an amazing service. I mean, that saves so much stress of standing in lines, doesn't it? And, and, and you know, getting stressed with the kids and stuff. But apparently, and again, You've got to take this with a pinch of salt with Canary and Weekly because sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But apparently they're going to stop the free service and that would mean a hell of a lot of jobs lost. Like I say, when I'm doing my lives, I do walk past the big the big vans. There's like three drivers in the front. Then you've got special like reps, local, that Jet2 always only recruit local people. Um, so it's not like uh, the old days of repping when I was a rep where you'd come over from the UK and you'd work work for a tour, tour operator. They, they only employ people that live here and like have a Spanish card and all that sort of stuff. So you've got all the drivers, you've got everything. So if that does happen, that's going to be a massive blow. Well, worldwide, really, because they take on a lot, a lot of staff. And I did wonder, I did wonder, and I've asked this question many a times, how the hell they afford it? Because it must be a huge outlay. Plus, they've got all the vans, and this is just Lanzarote that I see that, that I see the vans. Imagine Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, all over the world. So, um, yeah. So, so I wasn't sure about that. Let's have a look. See if I've got any comments on that. Just quickly. Uh, remember, you said about the PDC Beach Cam. Um, yeah, I, I've I've asked about it. Hopefully, it'll be back up soon. Um, I'll be worried what what they put or take out your bag no i don't think they would nicola i don't think they would jet two are quite uh quite good uh came over last week was not good not my best week in pdc love the live but sad you weren't there sorry miss i'm sure you didn't enjoy it because it was raining wasn't it um dave and mrs t have you tried getting travel on world on monster radio <laughs> karen there's another radio station an english radio station called power on Think about the name, power on, travel on. That's our radio station. <laughs> we ain't going on Monster, trust me. Trust me, we ain't going on there. Um, so, no, we've got sort of got our own radio station, which is Power On FM. Um, <laughs> there you go, Karen's like, oops, don't you worry, Karen. There's no, there's no, I mean, there's competition here in Lanzarote, but I tell you what, Nothing like Tenerife. The competition in Tenerife is crazy. So what else we got in the news for Lanzarote with Canary and Week? Let's have a look. There's a Scottish tourist. I'm not sure if it was Kevin because it was around the same time he was here. Um, has headbutted a policeman and has fled back to Scotland. And they're on the look for him. So if that was you, Scotsman, um, if that if that was you, Scotsman, um, here in Lanzarote, headbutting police, then please hand yourself in. Or I will. I will make them uh, known. Um, what's this uh, emergency plan? Risk of flooding. I think that was last week with the rain. Um, anything happening in Tenerife? So the Canary Weekly is quite good. Look, Arona brings new regulations against motorhomes and camper vans. There you go. They're trying to stop that because somebody asked about caravans. They just park them on the side of the road. Um, man dies after falling in the sea. Um, and that's it. Anything in Fuerteventura? Uh, beach is closed after intense rain. So we did have some rain, didn't we? Look look at all them floods. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, my days. Uh, so let's have a look. Jet 2 are very good. We had that service. Yeah, Jet 2 are brilliant, Ruth. Um, 5 a.m. collection of suitcase. So never... When we last used Jet 2, it was a 5 a.m. collection for suitcase. I mean, you might as well just go to the airport for getting up at 5 a.m. to dump your suitcase. That's not convenient, is it? Um, come over last week. Yeah, weather was not that good. Um, let's have a look. Du, du, du. Hi, Dave from Dublin. Yeah, we'll be in Playa Blanca in three weeks. Fantastic. On a Jolly Boys outing. That sounds fun. Um Scotsman did a Glasgow kiss. He must have. So how many have we got on? 179. That's not bad, is it, for a Thursday evening? Sat in me blooming office. Well, in the new studio, look. So what else have I got? Um, well, I did say before I went to Tenerife that I was going to... I found a box of, like, um, memorabilia from the good old days. I was going to do a video on that. So we'll see if anybody's got any questions and that. If not, we might do that. However... I did fly over. Oh, and I've got videos of the Binter flight between Tenerife and... Um, 
and Lanzarote as well. So a full video on how you can fly from Lanzarote to Tenerife on... Da, 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 on the Binter. Look, I bought myself a Binter plane to go with the collection. And the Binter planes are propellered. <laughs> I tell you what, I absolutely crap myself on these planes. It's like really noisy and you're on a propeller plane just gliding through the air. And then when you come into Tenerife, it's like this. <laughs> oh, look, and the propellers have just fallen off. <laughs> that's it. See, that's why I don't like it. Um, let's have a look. If you enjoy live, please give a big thumbs up. Oh, do we have to thumbs up on this? Give a big thumbs up. On TikTok, it's just smash that like, isn't it? I think it's a heart button. So is it the heart button? I see a heart button on there. Oh, yeah, you can press the heart button and you get loads of little hearts. So give it a give it a heart, give it a, a smile, give it a whatever. Um, what was that? You didn't even show me the plan. What plan? Uh, thank you, Anime Travels. Um, thank you very much, Nicola. Mrs. Travelon's talking to somebody. Uh, AJ, a woman. Oh, my God. Mrs. Travelon's having a conversation. Two Karens together. God help us. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Steve. I was looking at Jet 2 holiday for next year. There were no resort check-ins, so I think they're stopping it. Oop, there you go. Mike has confirmed that maybe they're stopping in-flight check-in. i tell you what, that's going to affect a lot, a lot of people. Um, in saying that, there is a shortage of staff on the island, so I'm sure the people that are doing the on-flight check-in will certainly be able to find some kind of work in the service industry because there is definitely a shortage. So, although it's bad news, I don't think it'd be too bad. Uh, heading over the 20th of April, hoping the weather's hot. Me too. It should be good. Um, what else we got? Let's have a look. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm back from Tenerife. Tenerife was very good. Eight days in total I did. I've got loads of stuff um, ready for you. So you'll have, you'll you'll know Tenerife like the back of your hand by the time I've finished with it. Um, but yeah, very competitive over there. Absolutely crazy. Um, like really loud and loads of people on the street trying to sell you something. If it's not excursions, it's bloody weed or looky-looky uh, men selling dodgy handbags. It's just one of them places where... You walk consistently and you just walk fast because it's rah, 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 rah. it's constant noise in your ear. So it's not as peaceful as Lanzarote. Can we speak about Cash Depot, please? Uh, great food and drink warehouse. Cash Depot, Tracy, is literally right opposite my house. Uh, like literally, I can walk. I could walk there from now in, in about two minutes. Cash Depot officially, Tracy. You need a card. Um, they shouldn't be serving you in there. <laughs> they do if you go in Cash Depot at. Um, in player blanket it's a warehouse so it's really for the bars and restaurants um to buy in bulk but i tell you what i know you say it's cheap it's not as it, it's it, it it's about the same price as the big supermarkets but here in player blanket we don't have many big supermarkets but when little opens little will be the place to be um but yeah cash depot you're meant to have a card they're not meant to uh to serve you anything but they do they don't care um Yet yeah, they do have a staff shortage. Watch your blogs on Tenerife, and tonight it was Blackpool in the sun. We'll stick to that Lanzarote. Um, I'll be there on Monday, staying at Pitakara in PDC. That's a lovely place. Over in May, PDC, uh, then Grand Tegizi Player. Fantastic. Both both hotels are great. Um, Grand Tegizi Player is lovely. Let's have a look. Um, where are you going to be Sunday? Not sure, Ross. Um Bulletproof said he's going to play a blanker. Yeah, I think most of you on here are play a, a, a Lanzarote fans, aren't you? Uh, where are you going next, Dave? Well, I reckon uh, Grand Canaria, Scotsman. Um, I'm going to go and find that bloke that pushed the camera out your end and knock him out for you. <laughs> I might go Grand Canaria. I want to go and see the um, aquarium over there. So I reckon Grand Canaria. But I'd like also to do Benidorm. Maybe I'll tie in a Benidorm when you're over there and then you can show, tell, tell me where to go. Um, 
Colin was wondering why there's no um, mobile home residential parks in Lanzarote. I think there's some kind of law against them. Uh, very, very strict here with buildings and all sorts of stuff like that. So I think many people have tried to set one up. The only person that sort of got anyway half near a sort of place like that was the yurts, which is the Mongolian yurts, which are like TP tents. Um, someone managed to get them in there. But yeah, I think many a person has tried a mobile a home place like that. Um, staying at the marina in Playa Blanca, end of May. Brilliant. That is fantastic. Uh, genuine fakes. Lots of genuine fakes in Tenerife, Nelly. So what else was that? So, yeah, um, apart from the bin to plane, there was... Where was my little box of, of, of tricks that I was going to show you? Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Oh, so I don't even know what's in this, but before I went away, I said I was going to show you some of the blast from the past to show you exactly what Mr. Travelon's life was like before being Mr. Travelon. And here he was, look, this is what he was, look. This is what Mr. Travelon, this is proof that I was Disco Dave, look. And I was a rep for 20s, which is like 18 to 30s. Um, so this is proof, this was the reunion. I'm not gonna say the word, but it's uh, it begins with sh and rhymes with hag. And it was called a, something tag because when you add this when you add this i tell you what the ladies were like putty in your hands <laughs> but there you go that's what i was when i was a, a naughty boy back in the day and this was for the reunion so we used to do all summer in like Cavas, falaraki and all that so you'd have a mad mad summer you'd do nothing but drink um party I mean, from the minute these people got off the plane, you were pouring shots down their neck at the airport. There was no mobile phones then, so it was you could get away with murder. We used to do... I used to do a game where I'd find the shortest or smallest person on the on the coach and get everyone to, to literally carry them down one side of the coach and turn around and carry them back, and you'd just see this floating person going down the coach. You couldn't do that these days, could you? And that's why the coach was going down the road. The things I used to get up to, but it was good old days, and, um, and and that's what it was about. So yeah, so we'd do that, and then we'd have a reunion in Butlins in Skegness. So we'd get hassled by our manager to sell tickets to this like big party in Butlins in Skegness, which was like in November or something. So it was like a reunion of all the people that had been on these twenties, eight into thirties holiday, and that was madness as well. That was a weekend of craziness. Um, so let's have a look. Um, have you ever reviewed Relaxia Lanza Sur? No, I haven't. Uh, did Rancho Park, Texas put the new slides? They, they're due to open very soon. One has opened. The rest will be open by summer for sure. Uh, find him, Dave. I will, Scotsman, for sure. What's the best 4x4 buggy tour near Playa Blanca? Sort of cost. Martin, all the buggies pick up from Playa Blanca. Uh, the best buggies are the super buggies. They're, they're the fastest, but they're the most expensive. Um, there is a four-seater buggy ones, which is cool. Um, but they all come and pick up from Playa Blanca. And they'll either go... You'll either go as far as Puerto del Carmen, or you'll just go by Puerto Calero area. That's where the main buggy place is. And uh, you'll do some buggy, buggy rides there. Uh, Disco Dave, yes indeed, Nelly. Um, go Benadorm, contact Nigel. I will contact Nigel, uh, Neil. Nigel was the one. I saw Nigel doing TikToks, and that's why I started my TikTok. I messaged him. I said, you've inspired me. I'm going to do it. So I, I'm, I've, I'm in touch with Nigel. I've been since day one. Uh, have you done a blog on La Santa? No, I've not been up to La Santa. Too many cyclists, peppermint patty. Too many cyclists for me up La Santa. It'd be like walking in to... The dragon's dead. <laughs> I don't know what it would be like. I, I, I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with it. Um, let's have a look. Well, let's ask Mrs. T. Has Dave got swivel hips? Swivel hips? No, I don't dance, Karen. I was just called Disco Dave because it rhymed. Um, I did a 20s holiday in Cavos. When did you go there, Big AD? Was I your rep? I was Mr. Tw 20s travel on rep. That's what I was. Long time ago, many, many moons ago. I'm just going to put my little box down here and see what I can find. Um, went to Ibiza with 20s back in 89. Um, what goes on in Ibiza stays in Ibiza. Exactly. Stayed at Lanza Sur twice. Great for my five-year-old. Good value for money uh, when you have access to the water park and two minutes for Flamingo Beach. Yeah, Lanza Sur is fantastic. Um, we're staying at Farianis Plus next week. 
how can we get some Disco Dave's Ugly Mug stickers? Well, Steve, if you see me on one of my uh, live walks down in the town, which possibly could be Sunday, I think I'll probably head up that way Sunday. I think I'll be in Port Adel Carmen Sunday. I don't want to promise it, but I think I will. Um, I used to work in radio. I was known as Disco Dean. <laughs> there you go. Your name begins with D. There was some girl that came on called Dis Disco Deirdre. I soon got rid of her. I was like, who the hell does she think she is taking my name? Disco Deirdre. She didn't last very long. Um, we stayed at Lanza Suites in Playa Blanca last May and loved it. Even saw Dave on his walk from the harbour to the lighthouse. There you go. You see, I'm always walking around somewhere on the lives. Um, so talking of lives, I mean, Andrew over in um, Tenerife does loads of lives on YouTube. Um, like literally, I did a live with him. He had like 800 people on He's built his sort of followers up. But he would literally go out and walk. He's got more places to walk in Tenerife, if I'm honest with you. Because um, here I'm, I'm sort of stuck. It's Playa Blanca, Porta del Carmen, or Costa de Gizzi, isn't it? And there's a 25-minute, half-an-hour drive to go that way. Uh, but he literally goes out walking for five five or ten minutes or a little bit longer, then sits down and has a full-on meal. And, and people enjoy watching that. Would you really want me to do that? Would you want me to do that? I can if you want. I can go out a lot more and do some uh, YouTube lives and sort of sit down and, um, and, and, and and have something to eat and just talk crap. I don't know. But if you want me to, I will, because he does really well. And I'll tell you what, he, he done half get a load of people watching his lives. He's done really well, really, really well. I was really happy to sort of uh, meet him and, and do a few videos with him. Really good guy. Um, really liked him. Um, we stayed at Lanza Suite in Playa Blanca last May. Uh, and loved it even so oh you've already done that went to Cavos in 96 oh my god big AD no I was 2003 in Cavos um, can you do a live around Arrecife I would uh, Bob but I always do a live on a Sunday don't I and Arrecife is just closed on a Sunday so that's why my main live walk around is on a Sunday I mean I would do one in the afternoon but most people are at work so they wouldn't see it uh, Disco D double D's yep um, doo -doo 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 -doo. love you two hours walk i love family meals out and you're you're and jack said you love that dude joe maybe i will i i don't mind doing the meal videos because we eat and then i film it and edit it i don't think i could sit there going live and eating like andrew does i don't know i can give it a go though it would, uh, would be good to see all the lands right in Tenerife bloggers beat up for a good old Chinese buffet. <laughs> yes. If it was a Chinese buffet, I'd be in. We've seen you eating, Dave. Don't make us suffer anymore. Yeah, but I edit all that, so it's cool. Hello, Alan. How are you, mate? Uh, Alan's just in. How are you? Hope you're well. Our son was born in 2003. Don't make me feel so old, Lindy. I was a naughty 20s rep there. What else have I got? Let's have a little look in the box. Someone was in Cavos in 2000, worked at Firebar. Remember Firebar, Sharon? Bloody hell. The days, the days. Right, I found a picture here. Oh, these are my, these are the repping days, look. I'll show you a picture of Mrs. Travel on, look. These were our repping days. This was actually in Tenerife. This is where I met Mrs. Travel on, look. This was the, the season that we met. There's me, look. Proper knobhead at the back, look. Proper knobhead I was. And there's Mrs. Travel on there, look, in the pink, look. Doesn't she look nice? And then these lot were all the ones that hated me. And they all said, keep away from him. He's a bad person. <laughs> and now look at you all. You're probably all sitting there watching going, I can't believe they're still together. And I'm on my second divorce. Ugh. See, I wasn't the bad person. I made an honest woman of her in the end. So there you go. All of these lot here, all of these lot, every single one of these warned Mrs. Travel on against Mr. 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 Disco Dave. Don't go near him. He's bad news, they said. <laughs> Alan said it's wet. It's wet in Scotland. Um, is Tenerife safe? I've seen a few reports of crimes and tourists. Tenerife is not as safe as Lanzarote by far, but there's crime all over the world. Um, there's a massive police presence in, in Tenerife, so I shouldn't worry about that too much. But there is a massive police presence. But it depends where you go in Tenerife. Some places you feel unsafe, like around the Veronica's area. Um, some places you're fine. However, when I was uh, walking along with Andrew on one of his lives, some geezer touched my pocket. Um, so you just got to have your wits about you. It's definitely not 
a place like Lanzarote where you just feel safe. Um, but it's a lovely place. Don't get me wrong. Tenerife is fantastic. It's just got... It's a bigger place, more people than Lanzarote. I mean, you know, I walk down the down the town and there's like space everywhere. You go to Tenerife and there's loads of people. More people, more problems. So it's not the fact that it's an unsafe place. It's the fact that... Sorry, there's more people and, and the chances of anything bad happening is higher. Um, they were all right. They weren't Mrs. Travelon. They all told you to keep away from me. Um, Dave, stick to editing the eating vids. I reckon that's better, bit big aid. You don't want to see me eating live, do you? And when I do the vid it, it, the editing ones, I can cut it out. You see me sticking a load of food in me. Gob, I always sort of cut it out. Can't stand watching people eat. Uh, snowed here in Plymouth last night. Crazy. Thunder and lightning today. Oh, my God. Um, we don't arrive until Tuesday the 9th. You'll be fine. Don't worry, Stevie. Uh, you'll be fine. Let's have a little look. Uh, when does the PB Lidl open? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, Jill. They haven't even laid a brick yet. Uh, plenty of rain in Ireland and cold. Great video. Um, is it cold in Ireland? Well, it's always cold in Ireland, isn't it? Do you ever get the sun in, in, in Ireland? I've never seen it sunny in Ireland. Every video I've seen, there's been cloud. That's why everyone comes to Porta del Carmen, I think. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, Nelly. Um, hey, Alan, again. Uh, we've been going to Tenerife for years, but went to Lanzarote last year and loved the calm feel. Yeah, Andrew, it's completely different, isn't it? The minute you get off the plane, you feel different. Um, Dave, you and Mrs. T both suit each other. Well, I should hope so, Big AD. I mean, you know, I've, I, I've managed my prison sentence for I don't know how many years so far. And, you know, I'm still here, and I? So she must be doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> she must be doing something right. I don't know what. I don't even know how many years we've been married. Mrs. Travelon, how many years we've been married? I should find out. I'll find something something more fun. Oh, here's something. Here's something. So remember, in one of the last videos, I said that um, before I was a naughty 18 to 30s rep, I actually worked in a naughty nightclub with, um, with naked ladies. Um, that is proof. That is proof. Look, that was my badge that went on my blazer at Spearmint Rhino. Look, official. The official Spearmint Rhino badge. So that was part of my uniform. I used to have to wear all black, white shirt, black tie, um, black black suit, basically, and shoes. And I used to look really smart and just be surrounded by naughty ladies. Um, and I started, my job was, my job start, my job with Spearmint Rhino was actually like a, it was sort of half security um, but half making sure that the 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 club, the house, knew how many dances that the girls had done because they had to pay them seven quid per dance. <laughs> they charged the punters 20 and they had to pay the club seven. What a life, Mr. Travelon's lead look. And that was my job, counting that. And then I, then I became a DJ. So there you go. There's proof that what I say is the truth. I wasn't blagging you. <laughs> Yeah, the little in play, player blanca probably won't be open for a, for a long time. 17 years we've been married. There you go. Oh, my God. Um, what do you think of the Tandoori Hut? Absolutely loved it, Emily. Absolutely loved it. And I tell you what, Harry, the owner, what an absolute legend. I walked in the Tandoori Hut and I said, oh, I've got a table booked. And this guy answered me in a Wolverhampton accent. I was like... Where are you from? He said, I'm from Wolverhampton. Indian, Indian restaurant, Indian restaurant owner, uh, Indian guy, and uh, with a Wolverhampton accent, absolute class. I felt like I was back home and such a lovely family, honestly. I loved it. There's a video on the way. Video on the way from the Tandoori Hut. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. I don't know how you give it a thumbs up. All I can see on my little phone here when I'm checking the messages is the hearts. Um... Yeah, Scotsman likes the Tandoori Hut as well. Um, Dave, how old were you when you met Mrs. Travelon? Um, I was 13 when I met my wife, and we're still together 36 years later. Oh, my God, Alfie. Dear me. That is a long prison sentence, mate. <laughs> That's longer than mine. That's double mine. Um, how old was it? It was 2003, so I must have been... I must have been about 24. Oh, thank you very much, Rocky. Uh, awesome content for bringing a slice of Lanzarote to my living room. Any tips for anyone planning Lanzarote? Thank you so much, Rocky. I really do appreciate that. That is amazing. Honestly, you don't have to do that. I, I massively, massively appreciate it. 
And I enjoy it, to be honest. Gives me something to do. <laughs> Gives me something to do, showing your Lanzarote. And I really enjoyed Tenerife. I had, I had a really good eight days, although I was absolutely shattered. Like I said, I don't know how Scotsman does it. And for those of you that sort of um, look at people like... I mean, Kevin and Andrew um, have got a lot more followers than me. I, th I think they're on like 70 odd thousand. And for those of you that look at them guys and think, huh, you know, all they do is walk around and make videos. Pfft. I tell you what, the work that goes into it, even, I mean, Kevin doesn't do all the editing and the fancy stuff that I do. I mean, I'm just stupid for doing that. Um, but the amount of walking, I mean, you know, he, he can go there for a week and do like 80 videos. Um, he must walk and walk and walk and walk. And I was literally up from six. I was getting back at nine and then you'd have a little break in between. I'd be like, right, I better go and do another video. I better go and do this. So these guys work really hard. So don't think that it's, so easy honestly and then while i was over there andrew was all over the blooming place and he's running a business as well so they they do they do work really hard start of bangle my uncle's favorite that is that another one i've not tried that one scotsman dave your phone is behind chat closed chat right closed chat okay now what do i do now i can't see the chat <laughs> how do i get the chat up now Right, hang on, look, anime, anime's throwing me off now. Now I can't find the chat, anime. You've thrown me off. How do I get the chat up? Hang on a minute. Let's see what I can do here. Let's let's get back in here. Do, do, do. I don't know why it's behind the times. Um, Let's have a look. Right, I see the last one. As you, Anaman, travels, giving me a thumb. Is that correct? Um, there you go. Right. So my chat might be behind. I've got it now. Um, Karen saying that she's going. See you later, Karen. So am I back? Am I back to sort of uh, not being behind on the chat, Anaman? I'm going to have to crack on because I, I don't really understand all this chat thing. I should actually be able to get the chat up here. Um, I don't know why I haven't got live chat up here. Um, there you go. I should be all right now. Thank you very much, Annie, ma'am. Let's have another look in the box. Right. I've got a couple of things here. <laughs> These will make you laugh. Look. So I've got... Look at this. Now, this, this was one of my first ever school reports. Look. I've got plenty of A's and plenty of B's, right? This was at, what school was this at? This was at Albert Bradby at, but I'm gonna just go through some of the, uh, some of the, uh, some of the comments from the teachers and every single one of them, including this one in the secondary school as well. This one was a secondary school one. And every single one of them says, fabulous student shows a good understanding but very easily distracted. Next one. Able, able to produce good work to a good standard, but very easily distracted. Next one. Ability um, is satisfactory standard, um, <laughs> but very easily attract, uh, very easily um, distracted. There you go. That was when I was at normal school, when there was boys and girls around. Then, this is the one, I went to Turf's Green Boys School, not once was I distracted. So there you go. And when I went to Turf's Green Boys School, when you went and picked the results up, does anybody remember getting their results look like this? Look at these results. I got an A, an A star, uh, Bs. I got some really good results. In fact, I was the second highest out of the whole of Turf's Green Boys School for my uh, GCSE results. So I was very easily distracted in junior school. Then I went to an all-boys school, and I was not distracted and did really well. And then I went to college and failed absolutely everything. So for my academic um, downfalls, I blame females. <laughs> Clearly, going to a boys' school did me a lot of good because I was focused on the job in hand. And that's always been my problem, I think. Um, just to scare you, my parents have been married 57 years. Oh, my gosh. Um, let's have a look. 
press chat on. I've pressed chat on. Am I behind on these chats? I don't even know where I am here. Um, let's have a little look here. I've got the chat up, but it's not. It maybe it maybe is delayed. I don't know. Maybe it is delayed. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I can see the chat here. Anyway. We have to crack on, don't we? We have to crack on regardless of chat. There's always a delay. I don't like this. Is what I don't like about YouTube with their uh, TikTok. It's just so quick and so on. Um, Mrs. Travelon says I'm not behind. Thank you, Mrs. Travelon. Right, let's have a look in here. What we got in here? Um, oh. Okay, pretty Mrs. Travelon looks there. <laughs> ah, look at that. Don't worry, that's not an ex-boyfriend. That's just some ugly ginger geezer. Look how pretty Mrs. Travelon looks there. Look. Look at that. That's when I first met her. <laughs> right, what else have I got? Let's have a look. I like going through my old stuff. I thought I'd, I'd share it with you. Um, I've got all flight tickets and everything. I've always saved flight tickets. Um, nothing of interest in there. I told you I had two Karate Kid, karate kid um, cinema tickets. I think I put them up there somewhere. Let's have a look what we got here. Not a lot, really. I, sh I showed you the uh, National Record of Achievement, didn't I? I showed you that on the video on TikTok. Does anybody remember these? Who has still got one of these? Answers on a postcard. Let me know. Oh, look, they're all giving Mrs. Travel on compliments now. You're all good with uh, the chat, Dave. Thank you very much, Martin. Mrs. Travelon says she was drunk for something. Um, who had one of these? National Record of Achievement. Do you remember these? They made out at school that this was your lifeline. If you didn't have one of these and it wasn't up to scratch and you didn't have all the information in it that you needed to get a job, well, you were never going to get a job. You'd die. You'd die with no money, no house, no wife, no children, no nothing. And uh, this is still my National Record of Achievement. Look, I'll show you. So I've got all the... Um, all the bits in there, look. All my, all my results, look. There you go. Look, how, I did good at school. A, B, A's, B's and C's. I did proper good. And then there was these certificates. So they had these certificates at Turles Green Boys School. And I basically... <laughs> I was such a boffin, you know, when I went to a boys' school. There was no distractions whatsoever. But I basically... You had a bronze, silver and gold certificate. And I smashed them all. Then once you'd done the certificates, you got the bronze, silver and gold badge, which are these up here. And I smashed all them. Um, that they actually had to make a whole new certificate just for me. And it was called the Parent Teacher association in recognition for outstanding outstanding that's the word academic achievements that there's a, there's look the gold and i've also got a hundred percent attendance certificate that means i never miss one day of school ever all of them are certificates from the headmaster and then this is my five star certificate for McDonald's. That is officially, I am a five. I don't think they even do that at McDonald's anymore where you get the stars. But when you worked at McDonald's, you had a badge and you had to do different exams um, like health and safety and, and hygiene and stuff. And you used to get the five stars. I got the five stars at McDonald's and I got, or I might still hold the, the record at Longbridge. Ruby Rednor Longbridge McDonald's for the fastest drive through um, on a Saturday afternoon. That means I got through so many cars in drive through that I won. I broke the record. I wonder if anybody's beat it. Who knows? Buffing. There you go. I was a buffing, Mrs. Travelon. That's why you married me. Um, is this live now? Yes, Gavin. It's live, mate. It's live. Uh, bring the national record of achievement uh, back, I say. Yeah, well. Now you don't have to achieve anything in your life. As uh, the, the youngsters don't have to achieve anything. They get a certificate anyway, don't they? And they're brought up and they leave school and they have this wonderful uh, wonderful look on how life's going to be and then they realise, shit, we've been lied to. <laughs> we've been lied to. This isn't easy. I'm not getting recognised for anything here. I'm not, I, I came 10th and I haven't got a badge for it. Then were the days where you had to work hard. 
100% attendance. That means that either means that I wasn't ill once or I was ill and I just went to school. And it wasn't because my mother was strict or anything. She'd never send me to school or, like, if I was ill. Um, and she was the worst cook that you could ever possibly imagine in the world. Um, I mean, some of the stuff that she used to serve me could only be... Well, it was only fit for the bin. And she'll tell you this. She used to make the most awful dinners. That's why I, I learned to cook myself. <laughs> so it wasn't like I was being, like, you know, fed really good food and I was a strong lad. I was fed God knows what. Whatever was made. Don't worry, I wasn't starved. I was always fed. But, geez, most of the time I left it. But she'll tell you. She's probably on here cursing me now. Worst, worst, worst cook in the world. She can't even make scrambled egg now. Um, hi, Dave. Currently in um, Costa de Guise, staying in, uh, staying in Sands Beach Resort, hoping to bump into you. I might be that way. Um, I don't know. It's Easter, isn't it? So it's a bit of a weird time. Everything's closed. Um, but I'm, I think I might do the live in Porta del Carmen on Sunday. I'm thinking Sunday might be the, the one. Uh, that McDonald's is still going, is it, Neil? Get down there, see if they've got any... Sit. Go down there, Neil, and ask him how. Uh, what's the, what's the record for drive through? <laughs> is it still hold by Dave? Um, is the Indian still in Papagayo coming later next year? Yes, it is. Uh, Curry House is up above by the um, by the harbour area, and the Spice Fusion is in the Papagayo Centre. That's the one. Uh, the Mac is still there in Longbridge. The cars are always queuing off the Bristol Road. It's because I'm not there, Big AD. That is why. Oh, my God. Is Jackie on? No, she's not. I thought she was on then. Uh, she'll kill me. She'll kill me for telling everyone. I make it up. Made it out. She starved me. Honestly, she didn't starve me, but she may as well have. <laughs> Honestly, she comes out here for a week and the panic, the panic if she has to, like, put toast on. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm just put the bread in the toaster and butter it. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting all flustered. I don't know how she survives. Um, someone else got 100% attendance certificate as well. Well done, Rachel. That was back in the day when we all just went and got on with it, didn't we? Doesn't matter. We were like, I mean, my kids, you know, they have a, they have a sniffle. It's like, do you want a day off school? Yeah. There you go. It's not the same, is it? 100% attendance. Uh Brad UTV, uh, can't understand anyone queuing for McDonald's just saying, no, nor me, Alan. And I did a video, I'll tell you what, Alan, that brings me on to uh, departures. I did, I've done a video, that's on its way as well, of the departures in Tenerife. And again, it just shocked me how many people are spending ridiculous amounts of money. And I do mention it in the video, Ma uh, Burger King, the cheapest meal in Bur Burger King at the Tenerife South Airport was 15 euros and they were queuing for it. Um, so that's, I mean, it, if, if I'd have had a Burger King for me, Mrs. Travelon and the two boys, you're talking 60 euros for a Burger King and people are paying it. And it just, I don't understand where this sort of credit crisis is. And, and you know, if people are that worried about the future why are they spending 60 euros or even 15 euros on a burger king at the airport because they're at the airport they've got to eat you know what i mean it's a four-hour flight <laughs> if you if you can't go if you cannot go without food for six hours you know you're not going to die um but they're spending it's like they walk into the airport and it's like <gasps> they take a breath smell something There's, there must be some kind of pheromone in the air and it's like <laughs> Right, we've got to eat, we've got to drink, we've got to do this, we've got to do that, we've got to buy something, we've got to buy a giant Tobler and we've just got to spend money. I went and found a quiet corner, sat them lot down, Mrs. Travel on went and got a coffee. And uh, and that was it. That was it. No one's buying nothing in the airport. Uh, what do you think of Lanzarote Airport? I quite like Lanzarote Airport. I did like Tenerife Airport as well. It was nice. Uh, that's because we weren't woke in them days, no. That word, that word woke, I mean, it's just getting worse, isn't it? It's getting worse and worse and worse. It's terrible. It's terrible. I'm trying to think what else is in here. Um, loads of certificates of achievement. Let's have a look. I've got, uh, do you remember him? Bo Selector. He was good, wasn't he? <laughs> I think, see if that worked. No, it don't work. Bo Selector Christmas card. He was good. Old, um, well, Bo Selector, but again... Um, he came on and apologised for all his comedy. 
and that was during the BLM protests and all that. He came on and apologised for doing Scary Spice and apologised for doing Craig David. After that, I thought, you know what? If you have to apologise for comedy... I mean, it was nothing offensive what he did, and all the all the people that he he impersonated, they all knew and they all laughed alongside of him, um, and then he had to apologise for it. I'm sure he had to, and he was he didn't mean to, but he should have. Uh, I don't really like him anymore because he should have just had the balls to say, Do you know what, it's comedy, and I'm not apologising for it because it's just ridiculous. Um, do, you, do you need permission to fly your drone in Lanzarote, uh, Graham? Um, I've got one of them two hundred and. 49 gram drone so i can f pretty much fly it most places but you're not allowed to fly it over the national park playa blanca is the best place to fly it porta del carmen apparently you're not really allowed to because it's too close to the airport um so you, you there's not many places in lanzarote that you're actually allowed to fly a drone playa blanca is probably one of the only parts uh, lee francis did bow selector that's the one he, he's coming back and he's doing another one but i reckon um i'll watch one and go no it's become too too woke now. He, he must be struggling to make things funny because he's scared of what he, what to say. Keith Lemon, that's the one. It got cancelled. Pretty pretty sure due to the masks. I'm pretty sure as well, Ross. If it was cancelled, it's shocking, isn't it? I, I mean, I don't know whether to blame him for not having the balls to stand up and say, you know what, this is comedy. I'm going to crack on and I'm going to do what I do best. And if people are offended, they can just switch off. Or whether he did it because he had to, I don't know. Um, but he, he, he's dead to me. <laughs> Bernie, Bernard Manny wouldn't apologise. Exactly, exactly. Um, what's the posh water called? <laughs> the posh water is called Solan de Cabras. And I can officially tell you it's posh. Because when we, me and Jack went to the Del Duque shopping centre, to the big designer shops, Guess what water they were giving out to clients while they sold them overpriced trainers? That water. So it must be posh. Um, school's too soft for unruly kids nowadays. Exactly, Nicola. Exactly. They need to crack down on everything, don't they? Um, what else we've got? Oh, here we go. <laughs> so... I told you that I was a naughty 20s rep and a naughty 18 to 30s rep. Um, and at the end of the year, you'd also get awards for that as well. So I was quite a high achiever. I actually got the award for the alcohol induced accident of the season. Check that out. So I was not only, this is why I don't drink anymore. I've been 20 years without a drink. Um, so I won the award for the the worst accident whilst under the influence of drink and apparently um that was because i can't even remember what it was but i think a bus driver a, a bus driver actually picked me up from the middle of the road and dropped me back to my accommodation um because i was just lying in the road that was one occasion there was another occasion when i woke up um with about 10 stitches in my hand and the doctor had just come up to my to my room and i was just lying there with Anyway, I was a disaster. So there you go. I, I also won the Vanessa Feltz Award, which they wouldn't do that in these in back in these days, would they? And that was for the most weight gained in a summer season. <laughs> I put on that much weight from all the booze and all the eating. I, got, I won the Vanessa Feltz Award. Can you imagine them doing that nowadays? And this is why the eighteen to thirties and the twenties stopped. The minute mobile phones came out, and the minute all this woke nonsense came out because you just couldn't do anything you couldn't do this it started towards the end of my sort of last season as an 18 to 30s rep we were given a piece of paper which we were supposed to read out on the coach when people arrived at the airport and it was like a it was like it was like a um, where the the stewardess does a thing on the aeroplane and says if if this happens this is going to drop out and it was like basically please understand that you are on holiday and please do not drink too much and please know your limits and please do this and that was the last season for me. Um, I used to eat the the thing. I used to re start reading it and then just eat the piece of paper. I, I get loads of pieces of paper on these coaches and then everyone would cheer and then we'd just crack on and get drunk. Um, but yeah, you weren't allowed to do that. Vanessa Feltz Award. <laughs> You're not allowed to laugh at anything or anything these days. Too many people get offended. Nothing. Exactly. Too many people get offended. Um, 
Alan said he still works part-time at the University of Glasgow. Every day we are bombarded by PC wokeism and email. There, I bet he is in university. I bet he is, Alan. I bet you're surrounded by them. And the thing is, half of them don't even know what they're protesting about. They're just part of it, aren't they? They're just part of the... Whatever they see, they want they want in on. So they'll just agree with it. Uh, what else we got? Oh, there you go. That was my first ever house that I bought on my own. It was a flat in uh, Acorn Court, Rednall Mill Drive. Rednall, Rednall, in B45. It cost me... 74,950. Or oh, did I sell that? No, that's what I sold it for, 74. And I think I bought it for about 50. But that was my living room, look. <laughs> yeah, this was when I sold it. That was my living room, my kitchen. Check that out. Bloody hell. Two bedroom, that was. I lived I lived there on my own. I, uh, I was engaged to some very strange person i won't go into that just in case she's watching um and then i think she dumped me or i dumped her or, or something and then about two weeks later i bought this place on my own i was like right, see you later i'm off i've escaped <laughs> and then i just turned wild and went away and, and worked away uh reps are not the same as they were 20 years ago reps and do you know what there's no such thing as a rep anymore um they they're not interested in anything they just want to watch netflix and the only thing they worry about when they when they land on on in resort for for their dream job is have we got internet in the room? Have we got internet in the room? Oh, can't sleep there. My bed's uncomfortable. Well, I don't know how to use a washing machine. Terrible. I was told last week that the Israeli hostages were fake news. Oh my gosh, good gosh. Um, too much BS these days. Um, I laugh at, at, at anything that's funny. Me too, Nelly. Um, Someone said Cadbury's of something have, have pipped all over it. Uh, loads of development in Longbridge. Now, yeah, I've seen in Longbridge there's loads of development. There's all sorts of uh, big sort of uh, places, isn't there? Um, but, yeah, I mean, comedy's comedy, isn't it? I mean, if you can't laugh, if you're, if you're worried about what you find funny, um, I don't know. It's just so weird. I mean, I know Chubby Brown um, is a little bit sort of, you know, a little bit like that. But he came to play a blanket and the outrage from people on Facebook. How dare, how dare anybody go and see Chubby Brown? How dare you tell me what I find and think is funny? Um, and, and, you know, what I don't find offensive and you do. How dare you tell me? Um, you know, you can find, I don't, I, you know, if, if you don't like that, I've no problem with that. And um, if you don't find that that sort of comedy there, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And he had to move venues about four different times because he was meant to be in hotels. And then the hotels found out what he was and was too scared to allow him to do it in case, uh, they, they, in case he got in trouble. So they ended up doing it in the bar. But I thought it was a great night. And it wasn't very offensive. You know, he has toned it down a lot from back in the day. Um, but it was a very funny night. Um, the 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 reps <laughs> the reps now look like creatures <laughs> like creatures they finished out a black black lagoon they do indeed hello Phil how are you mate Philip knows about the reps in there Lanzarote he's seen a few of them um, Neil was saying they're calling Easter eggs gesture eggs now Jesus Christ well look don't buy Easter eggs for anybody anyway they're bad for you as my mate um, Eddie Abu says. You know, they're just trying to get you to spend your money and just eat rubbish food. Don't buy Easter eggs. Give your kids money. <laughs> let, them, let them buy what they want. They want to buy chocolate eggs with them. They can. They want to buy points for Fortnite. I'm sure they'll be more grateful for that. Chubby's the breast. Good old Chubbs. Yeah, he was fantastic. He did a really good show down there. Took my mother down. Took Jack down to his first one. Jack sort of got it, but didn't understand all of it. But it was there. Yeah, people are just too offended by everything. It's just stupid. Slow Snowflake nation, exactly. Hi, Dave. Arriving in Costa de Guiz on the 18th of April. Hope the weather picks up. Me too. I'm sure it will. It's looking all right for the weekend, to be honest. I did say this morning, I said it's looking cloudy. I meant to have wind tomorrow. Um, and then the weekend's meant to be looking good, uh, ready for Easter. When is Easter? Is it Easter Sunday? So is th this Sunday's like Easter Sunday. Um, I know everything's closed today. There's a fiesta today or, or, or like a bank holiday today. And tomorrow, because it's Good Friday. Saturday, I think most places will be open. And then Sunday, obviously, obviously everything's closed in Lanzarote anyway. Um, oh, 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 hang on. Tell us a woman. Oh, I'm not telling you the woman on the stairs 
Poor lady falling over in Tenerife. That was a, she didn't have to go a cropper there, Nelly, the lady that fell over in Tenerife. It was a quite a bad a bad fall, to be honest. What else we got here? Let's have a look. I got me me letter from first choice saying that I've been accepted as a 20, 20s rep. Congratulations on your success at our recent interview. I'm delighted to confirm that we'd like to offer you a job as a 20s rep. There you go. There you go. Um, we had to do a big interview process back in the day. You had to do an interview and then you had to prepare all sorts of stuff. You had to do an entertainment thing. I'm thinking, did I, did I take my clothes off? <laughs> I'm trying to think what my entertainment thing is. I think I did a strip. Because I used to be a kissogram, didn't I? Did I tell you that? I used to be a kissogram. Back in the day, when I was 18 years of age, I used to be a kissogram as well. That was a that was a, a dangerous time. I used to get driven. There was a company in Birmingham City Centre. I used to go there on the bus. I'd, I'd get all my costumes ready for the night. And they used to... They used to have bookings like all the way around England, so I could go from Birmingham all the way down to like Wales or something to do a strip, and they'd pay like the company like a hundred euros, and I'd get like twenty. But I had a driver and everything. <laughs> there you go. The life of the life that I had is just it's just bonkers. It really is. And now I'm on bloody YouTube. Now I'm on YouTube. Oh, them are boring pictures. There's me and Mrs. Travel on a jet ski look on our honeymoon, I think. No, that wasn't our honeymoon. That was Cuba. That was our first holiday together. Look at my hair. What an absolute plunker. Look at my hair. It took me hours to do that. I used to have to like, I used to have to like twist all the bits and I had it highlighted at the top. I could use a word that begins with W. And he's used to uh, keep a boat stable in the in the water. What a complete one of them. Dear me. Dear me. Uh, don't forget the clocks go forward, do they, Nicola? Blimey no. Um, the rep at our resort f uh, from holiday a couple of years ago was Spanish and didn't really speak English and didn't have a clue about the local area. Well, Emma, most of the reps don't have a clue about the local area unless you get them towards the end of their season when they've done six months and actually lived here. Because what happens is you... Well, so what happened... What, what used to happen when you became a rep? So you would go to... Let's say they said, right, um, you're going to Lanzarote, for example. You'd turn up... Everybody would turn up in Lanzarote who was doing the summer season. The winter team would still be working. And you'd have two weeks of, like, real intensive, like... Um, training um, learn about the island learn about the resort learn everything in two weeks um, so even after two weeks you go into the job you, you wouldn't really know what you were talking about till at least sort of two three months into the job anyway um, so most of the reps haven't got a clue where they are let alone have good information for you that you possibly might actually need um, but then they cut that and it was like right your landing resort you've got two days get your shit together and get out in the field so most of these reps these days haven't got a clue of what where they are or what they're doing. They're, and they're, they're there to help you if there's any issues. But let's face it, in Lanzarote, there very rarely is. Most of the hotels are lovely. They've got receptions that speak English. Um, so they're there really. I don't know what they're there for. Um, I understand reps in like places like, uh, I don't know, maybe Goa in India or Turkey where, you know, it can be a little bit dodgy in certain places. But here, you don't really need them. So they're there to sell you excursions. At a higher price than anywhere else. Uh, we're coming to play a blank on the 6th of April. What do you think of the best restaurants? Oh, my gosh. Have a look on the channel, Scott. I've done a few restaurants. I've done the Two Indians, which is Indian Curry House by the Harbour. Um, the one in the Papagaya Centre Spice Fusion. Um, Arabella's, which is in the Marina Rubicon, which, by the way, is changing their name to Jungle Vibes. Um, I'll give you more information on that when I know. Uh, but the name of the restaurant's changing, which means I'm going to have to come down and do another video there, and I? I'm going to have to go and have another, another meal there, I reckon, when it opens. Uh, otherwise, well... There'll be a video on there called Arabella's, and I'll need to change the name of it. Um, and then you've got um, you've got the one that does a three course meal. Um, Mrs. Travel on, help me out here. I'm getting tired now. I'm forgetting the name. I'm forgetting the name. La Casa, <laughs> La Casa in the Papagaya Centre. That's beautiful as well. Uh, you'll enjoy that. There's loads of restaurants. They're all good. Um, 
Dave, ever consider setting up a Discord server for a community and interact? I have no idea what one of them is, Paul. Somebody else said that to me the other day. I have no idea, Paul, what a Discord is. Um, if you know what it is and you want to explain it to me in a little bit better, it's dave at mrtravelon.com. You can drop me an email. I have no idea what a Discord is. Blows my mind. More Chip and Dale, I'm not the, that that is. Um, Canary Islands, hello, good night. Hello, Canary Islands, how are you? Good night to you. <laughs> Buenas noches. Um, are the clocks on wheels? Oh, I don't know what that... Uh, we only saw Jet 2 rep on our last day when we stayed at Acora Suites. There you go. Good. You don't need them. Uh, my favourite restaurant in Proud Blair is Arabella's La Casa Gusto. Yeah, that's nice. And Spice Fusion. That's it. La Casa. All right, let's have a dip in the box. Um, online chat room. I'll have to have a look at that then. The Discord. Oh, here's one that'll make you laugh. So... Let me see if I can find this. See if the original's in there. No, that's not the original. I have got something that's quite funny. What a geek I was back in the day. A proper geek. Um, no, I can't find it. Oh, there's me working at Spearmint Rhino. Look, with one of the ladies. She's closed, don't worry. There you go. There's my uniform. Look, look how young I was there. Working in a blooming strip club at... <laughs> <laughs> what a life and who's that to disco dave lots of love Janiel, i don't know i think she was quite famous i can't remember who she was there's another one here as well oh look another another lady look <laughs> God, i'm sharing i'm, I'm over sharing and i uh i'm over sharing let's have a look um, why are Jet 2 stopping in resort check-in service? I have no idea. Um, probably the cost. A Chippendale. A Chippendave. <laughs> My wife is still a rep in Lanzarote and works for the airport. Fantastic. Well, there you go, Alfie. It's the old school reps uh, like yourselves that have been married for so long. And I bet your wife will tell you that the young ones that come out probably drive her insane because she is probably an old school rep you know she's worked there she knows everything um, and then these young ones come out fly by nights and they come in and do one so exactly 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 um and it was always the uh the, the more sort of mature reps that was fantastic i was a rep i was a a boss for tui which was first choice and the reps that just did the best work were not the ones that like were coming in the young ones it was the uh the, the ones that had been doing it for a long time and they'd keep everybody in order um jackie degg that's the one i met her at max power live <laughs> big idea have you you've been following my life or something you you before me as well jackie degg that was her famous she was wasn't she she was a famous uh like lady <laughs> Thank you, Nelly. Don't forget the live walk on um, the live walk on Sunday. Mrs. Travelon says she's used to something. Gavin, you will be on the set E tonight. Nah, don't worry, Gavin. Mrs. Travelon knows everything about me. I don't hide anything. I'm honest. I'm truthful. Why not? Why do I need to hide my past? Oh, there's the uh, tickets to Karate Kid 3. Look, my favourite film. Uh, back in two th uh, 25th of August... 1989 look uh, went to see Karate Kid 3 I was 11 years old and the film was very good ranked a 4 star look I've even I've even bloody put a star a proper geek weren't I proper geek I showed you this on the uh, <laughs> I showed you this on the uh, on the TikTok video look me cub hat for the cubs uh, Nicola's on she's a scout leader Nicola do you recognise any of these badges look that meant I was a sixer. I know that meant I was like head of the uh, head of the camp. That meant I got a special position in the tent. Uh, I think it was by the door because I, you know, anyone that wanted to escape had to get past me because I was in charge. Um, there you go. That was the name, the Birmingham, the Birmingham Cubs. And then the badges I got. Look, I got the camping badge. I got the tennis badge. I don't think I've ever played tennis in my life. I got the artist badge. The photography badge. I think that's the cooking badge. And I don't know what that is. The washing up badge. By the looks of it. So there you go. Look at the size of that. That was my cub uniform. 
Bloody hell, we're going right through this, aren't we? My same cub group. There you go. Neil was in the same cubs as me. Um, Jackie was a lads mag favourite. Oh, my God. A lads mag favourite. Uh, not the French Tui reps. I don't know what that is, Phil. There's, there's quite a few French French Tui reps. They're probably better than the, the, than the UK ones. Uh, we have a team based all over... We have a team based here all year round. Uh, and with the youngest come over in the summer season every year. Where are you based then, Alfie? Where, where's you and your wife based then? What, what island or is it, is it mainland Spain? Try the jumper on. Mrs. Travel on it. I don't want to wreck, ruin it, do I? Let's have a look what else we've got here. I've got, I've got so much crap in this box, I tell you. Just having a little dive in here. Just having a little dive in. Let's see what I find. Um, that's a bank statement. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> so being the geeky geek that I was back in school when I went to an all-boys school and wasn't distracted by ladies, um, I wrote a letter to the Prime Minister. Look, I've got a letter from 10 Downing Street there. Who was the Prime Minister at the time? I don't even know. I think it was John Major. Um, and I wrote a letter saying, because I, I rode a bike even though I haven't ridden a bike for a long, long time. Um, but I rode a bike and I, I bought a helmet and I looked so stupid in it that I wrote a letter to the Prime Minister and said, Dear Prime Minister, could you do me a favour and ask the people that make bike helmets not to make us look like absolute knobheads with big... They were massive back in the day, weren't they? <laughs> they were like that. You'd look like a blooming... Uh... You look like a mushroom, and uh, he wrote back to me, and then they sent me a letter from the from the transport company. <laughs> what a weirdo! What a weirdo! My missus says you look like just William. Apparently, I look like um, who's the geezer that does the um, no likey, no no lighty, no likey. Um, what's his name? What's his name? Somebody, somebody will know his name. Uh, Big Ed. No, I've not. Oh, thanks for me, Sam. Alfie's here in Lanzarote. No, he's not. What? So, Alfie, you're actually here on the island? Jesus, Dave, you were such a... I know, Phil. I know, Phil. I still am. You know me well. <laughs> that was back in the day, that was. I've got some CDs there. I don't know what them are. I don't know what this is. I didn't know Alfie was actually here. Uh, don't know what that is. Oh, there's me and my mother. Look on my wedding day. That's me on my wedding day. Look, with my mother. She looks young there. Look. I don't know if she's watching this. She probably kill. She's gonna kill me. Look for showing that. There's me on my wedding day. Look how nice I looked. I lost so much weight for that wedding day as well, you know. I lost about 26 uh, kilos altogether for that wedding. Paddy McGuinness, that's the one. <laughs> Everyone says a lot of Paddy McGuinness. I don't know if I do, look. I'll do a side po profile. In fact, I reckon we could do something here, look. Let's just do this. Let's find him. Paddy McGuinness. Paddy McGuinness. Let's have a look. There we go, look. Let me get back onto that scene. Which which way is he turning? Is it that way? What do you reckon? Do I look like Paddy McGuinness? I think I bloody do, don't I? Look at that. Let's find another picture. <laughs> there you go. Side on, and he's got a little bit of a... Yeah, I do. Look, what do you think? Do I look like Paddy McGuinness or not? I'll do the same pose. Got the same eyes, haven't I? A bit of a crooked nose. Same sort of ears. Bloody hell. Let's see if we can find one more picture. God, we're having fun tonight, haven't we? <laughs> Hello, the bollocks. <laughs> Here we go. Let's have a look. There's one that looks like me, look. Oh, how do I get that up? Oh. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. All these bloody ads up. Let's come on. We just want to see Paddy and McGuinness. I don't want to subscribe. Freaking useless thing. All right, let's go on images. There you go. Looks like me. Look, there you go.
There you go. What do you reckon? Paddy McGuinness or what? Let's get back to that. <laughs> Joe says I do look. No, he's better looking. Well, thanks very much, Millennial Steve. Uh, Neil says I'm a double. Phil from EastEnders. Shut up, Mrs. Traveline. I love Max and Paddy. Yeah, um, showing the motorhome. That's really good. More Max from Max and Paddy. See you, Nicola. <laughs> I'm blocking you. Are you sure you're not being on the drink tonight, Dave? No, I'm just uh, I'm just overtired, I think. Uh, we should start, start a lookalike agency. I know. Well, Philip, who's on there, actually is a spitting image of, um, of um, uh, Jack Sparrow. Um, I shall show you a picture of that one day. In fact, one day when he comes back to Lanzarote, maybe we'll get him on because he's the double of Jack Sparrow. So you can imagine you ladies will go mad when I bring him on. Um, right, let's have a look here. What else we got? I ain't going to do too much time. There's one of my children as a baby. I don't know which one that is. Mrs. Travelon will probably tell you. I think that's Alfie. <laughs> I think that's Alfie. There's, there's Jack as a little boy. Look, there you go. See, I'm sharing everything now. Sharing everything. And I think that's it, really. I've got a little folder of. Oh, I'll just show you this one, and then I'm done. So this was on my 18th birthday. And somebody ordered me a stripper. This is where it all went wrong, you see. I turned 18 and somebody ordered me a bloody a kissogram and she came as a policewoman. <laughs> she came as a policewoman. There I am, look. I... There I am. Absolutely drunk out my head at 18. That's when it all went wrong from that minute on. Absolute madness. Absolute madness. Uh, sharing is caring. Well, I hope you enjoy it. You know me. I don't mind. I just thought it would be quite funny. Um, I didn't even realise Philip was Jack Sparrow. There you go. Sounds like a plan. Get back here then, Phil. When, you, when you're back, we'll, come, we'll, we'll, do a, we'll get you on in full, full costume and do a, a Jack Sparrow thing. Um, Mrs. Travelon says she's got a few photos of me in, tra in, in uh, Tenerife. Uh, been on the submarine today it was great fantastic Gavin I hope you had a good time um, Dave you look like Jack in the first pitch yeah I know I know yeah <laughs> I do a bit don't I <laughs> uh, does Lanzarote do anything for Halloween yeah it does uh, Rancho Texas uh, so the Rancho Texas country night which is every Friday at the moment and then in the summer is Tuesday and Friday they do a Halloween special it's really good actually they like put all the costumes on and everything and they do a big Halloween special most p people go there to be honest it's like the biggest sort of Halloween event let's get this posh water down mate um do you like Mike Tyndall? Do you look like Mike... Dave, you look like Mike Tyndall. Who the hell is Mike Tyndall? If I Google this now, you're getting blocked. <laughs> Mike Tyndall. Who's Mike Tyndall? I don't look like Mike Tyndall. Is that Mike Tyndall? Is he a rugby player? No. No chance, look. Let's look. I don't look like him, do I? I'll look forward. He's got a little bit of a Phil Mitchell vibe going on. I don't think I look like him. I'll tell you. Let's. I bet I look like him. My dad looks like Phil Mitchell, to be honest. Oh, there you go. I look more like pissing Phil Mitchell, don't I? Look. There you go. Phil Mitchell look a lot. <laughs> a little bit older. I think when I get a little bit older, a little bit wrinkly looking, I get that little jaw there i could look like phil mitchell and i need to shave my hair a little bit more god i've got no hope have i poor kids my poor kids uh does lanzarote do anything for halloween i've already said that uh just like jack in that photo do i let me get that bloody photo back out. do i look like jack in that photo let me get back to scene one. Oh, wait, i'm back on scene one god i do actually look let me see if i can find one bloody hell i do yeah yeah you're right there I'll try and find one where I've not got my shirt off. Oh God, that's me down in beer. That's me sticking my fingers up. There you go, look. I do actually, don't I? I look right like Jack. Spitting image, actually. 
I'm going to take this down to him afterwards and say, look, that's what your dad looks used to look like when he was 18 with a naughty police lady. <laughs> I hope my mother's watching this. She'll be like going crazy. She was it. She was there on that night. Uh, Paddy McGuinness, twins. Look, somebody's laughing at my expense. Mike Tyndall is Princess Andrew's son-in-law. Was that the Mike Tyndall that I showed you, the rugby player or not? Or did I put a double L in that? Mike Tyndall with a one L. I think it was the same one. Anyway, I don't look nothing like that one. I'm, I'm disagreeing with that. Um, another few years, you'll be like Phil Mitchell. <laughs> Sod off, millennial Steve. <laughs> You've done nothing but abuse me tonight. I'm going to get you blocked. <laughs> get the moderators on. Get millennial Steve blocked. Uh, definitely not Phil Mitchell. Thanks, Phil, for sticking up for me there. <laughs> uh, so I don't think I've got anything else to show you. I found a picture here, which was... Oh, this was when I went... I went to this big posh event. Look, I don't know if you can find me in there. I'm on there somewhere. I went to a big posh event, look, uh, with all the hoity-toities. Um, and I am on there somewhere, and it was a mega, mega posh do. I can't even remember what it was. It was some kind of thing, but it was at Oxford University. And by the end of it, I was that drunk. I got the whole of that table there singing Who Let the Dogs Out in their black tie event. It was a black tie event, and I was on the table. I got the whole, all these posh like real posh yuppies uh, singing Who Let The Dogs Out. <laughs> I was always the life and soul of the party. I think I was just meant to be that. Uh, it was the right one, member of the royal family. There you go. Greetings from Germany. Hey, Kai, hope you're well, mate. Um, I heard something about there was an issue with coaches going to Tim and Fire. Any news? I've not heard anything. Um, I know Tim and Fire are going to, or they're building some kind of like car park because there's always a massive queue of cars outside Tim and Fire, so it takes ages to get in and all the buses drive past. So I think what they're planning on doing is like a park and ride where you park the car and then jump on a bus and go up uh, through Tim and Fire. That could be what you've heard. I'm not sure, uh, but I've heard nothing nothing else. I wouldn't block you, don't worry, Millennial Steve. Tory party dinner it was, Phil, I tell you, full of poshies, and I had them all singing, Who Let the Dogs Out? Do you remember that song? If you and Craig stood together, the very would be Phil and Grant Mitchell. God, I'm not going to live this down. Nearly nine o'clock, bedtime for me. Thanks, Dave and Mrs. Travelon. Good night, Kirsty. It's baked, be bedtime for me soon as well. Uh, great, great tonight, Dave. Had a right laugh. Well, it's been fun, hasn't it, Anne? I never know what these lives are going to be because, you know, what do I talk about? There's only so much you can talk about Lanzarote, isn't there? Um... So I haven't really got anything else to show you. What time is it? God, is it nine o'clock? How long have I been on for? Half seven, half eight. Oh, jeez, we've been on for an hour and a half. Um, Dave, I heard that the taxis could go on strike over Easter holidays. I don't know, Alfie. Alfie, you need to send me an email, dave at mrtravelon.com, because I'm getting confused whether you're here on the island or not. Mrs. Travelon says you're here on the island. Drop me a message so I can get in touch with you. If you're here on the island, I'll come and see you. Do a video together. And if, if your other half's working for Tui, I can get like a behind the scenes. Tui wouldn't allow that, would they? Would they? They wouldn't allow it. Too too much uh, controversy and stuff. I'd love to have done that when I was a rep, being like an on the scenes. Um, I'm trying to get in touch with all the television companies to say, do you want to do something? Something interesting, you know what I mean? Bring back the good old days when they used to have the airport show. That was filmed here. Um, in Lanzarote, where they used to have the airport, the fly on the wall documentary. They could do that with Tui, you know. It's it's interesting. People like to see that. Missy's travel on. It's not even washed up yet. Missy's Alfie's here. See, she's saying Alfie's here. Right, Alfie. Drop me a drop me an email, Dave at mrtravelon.com. I need to know who you are, where you are. Mrs. Travelon says you're here on the island and what you do. And I'm gonna come and say hello to you. Um, Gavin says he's here Brilliant today Dave Thanks Carl um, Keep doing these Thursday night lives <laughs> I will be gay we, we, Well to be honest I've just shared every part of my life with you now There's so much more There's so much more Alfie works for Jet2 at the airport Does he? Oh fantastic Alfie So Alfie you can tell us what's going on with all this um, Jet2 if they're going to stop the on-flight checking and stuff don't tell don't tell us now because don't get in trouble or anything um but you can drop me a private message or something and um 
we can do that. Maybe I know, yeah. Uh, we need Jane Bolton, yeah. Do you know what? I miss Jane Bolton because she came here in Lanzarote and oh, I think it was one of the... I, I was having a bad week. I remember it well, and I was really tired, and I was just really niggly and really moody that week, and I was just having a really bad, bad week. You know when you just have one of them weeks and couldn't be bothered? And then I sort of pulled myself out of it, and she was going home, so I never got there. Um, and I'll, But I am going to meet Jane Bolton uh, when she comes over next. Uh, she's back over in July. There you go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Brilliant night, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Nicola. Uh, Dave, Dave, Alfie and wifey work at the airport in Lanzarote Airport. That's fantastic. Um, Phil says his mate dated one of the girls from the airport show. She's been on the island for 25 years and said it used to be mental. I can imagine, Phil. There is still, that from that airport show, or no, not the one that Jane Bolton was in, because she did airport in England, didn't it, was for EasyJet. They actually did a full-on airport show, and it was the Lanzarote Airport. And there's still, on the island, a good handful of people that were in there. There's Kim. She she uh, works in the Los Socos Hotel now. So you might recognise her if you're stopping at the Los Socos. She's like, I think she was guest relations. There's a few that work in La Las Calas in Puerto del Carmen. There's one that owns a bar, um, I think called the Caz Bar in um, Puerto del Carmen as well. She was on there as well. Um, and there's another one that I know of uh, called Teresa. She, I see her dotted around now and again. So they they were all real, like, back in the day. I mean, that was a massive program, wasn't it? Um, but that was back in the day when it was all real, real craziness, real craziness. I bet Alfie will tell you it's not like that now at the airport. Um the one I sent you was Airport Lanzarote on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, oh, I'm glad I could take you down memory lane, Scott. It's been fun for me to share all my nonsense with you as well. <laughs> what a crazy life. So, look, it's coming up to 9 o'clock. I guess I better go to bed. I seen Teresa in Mercadona the other day. <laughs> there you go. She was a big star on on, uh, on the airport. They followed her family and everything. Um, there you go, Joy. Uh, J Joe, uh, Alfie, Joe's trying to get some free some free flight tickets from you. She's bigging up Jet Two for you, so definitely drop me drop me an email. I definitely want to want to see where you are. Uh, I remember the EasyJet Airport program. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that was what Jane Bolton was on. Uh, so there you go. Look, it's nine o'clock. I'm going to turn into a pumpkin if I carry on. Um, so drop me a message. Let me know where you want me to go. What you want to see? Do you want to see more hotels? Um, do you want to see more walk-arounds? Do you want me to go live on YouTube walking around? I don't really want to go live on YouTube walking around because, well, it's an hour's walk. And if I do it on TikTok and then record it for YouTube, it's the same, but you can't interact with it. But I usually only get about 150, 170 people on. Um, so I think it's best doing it the way I do it, where I go live on TikTok because I get lots of people on there and it's really fast and then and then record it uh do you want do you want me to do what andrew does in tenerife and just literally bowl around and sit down in random places and just chat away like this do you prefer it in the studio um feel free to drop me any comments any sort of feedback anything you want to see i'm open to anything um if you think i'm a proper plonker and you don't like me just drop me a message <laughs> tell me so i don't like that you know um i mean i'll probably tell you to scroll on but uh, feedback, feedback, feedback. Um, if you enjoyed the live, what else do you want to talk about? What else do you want to see in the live? I'm open to anything. Um, please give me constructive feedback because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing on these lives. Um, I just built this bloody big studio behind me because I like the lights. And I think we've had a bit of fun tonight and just done something a little bit different, haven't we? Um, but I do need to start telling you more about sort of things to do in Lanzarote because that's what I'm here for at the end of the day. Uh, a walk around to Guise Market or Arrecife. Arrecife is definitely on the list for sure, for sure. So uh, so next week, have some, have some ideas. What we'll do, we'll start the next live next Thursday. Um, have some ideas of what you want to sort of say, do with the channel. And we'll just spend the first 10 minutes just going through that. And you guys, because you guys are the ones that are watching, so you're the most important. Um, you know, you can sort of first 10 minutes, I'll say, come on, what do you want to see on the channel? And just hit me with everything. 
So that's your homework. You got a week for your assignment. <laughs> that's your homework. You got a week to think about what you want to see on the channel, and then you can tell me next week on Thursday. But there you go. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I have no idea to end this. I will do it. it. Says end broadcast. I'm sorry if um, if I was behind on the comments. Um, I'm sort of watching it on a phone here because. I'm using this streaming thing and I can't seem to get the comments up. So I'll try and sort that out next week as well. Because um, I can't even see where to get it anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Have a fantastic evening. Uh, keep smiling. Um, have a good weekend. Have a good Easter. Uh, don't eat too many chocolate eggs. Remember, it's all a con. They're all there just to try and force you to buy some absolute nonsense food, which isn't very good for you. Have a real egg. Have a real egg this Easter. Eat a few real boiled eggs. They probably won't taste as nice, but they'll probably do better for you. And keep your money in your pocket for your holidays. That's what you need to do. Thank you to all the uh, spanners that are on. Um, there's a few spanners on here that are, are, are called moderators on, on TikTok. Um, and thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one, and I'll see you Sunday morning live on TikTok. And if you can't join me on TikTok, it will be caught up and recorded for YouTube, and I'll post it on there. And I think it's probably going to be Porto del Carmen, I reckon.